Hello people, hope you're doing great. This is me and welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm starting a new episode of Naruto Shippuden. We're still watching Kakashi filler episodes and today I'm watching episode 355 and 356. So in the last two episodes, we saw a little bit about Yamato and his childhood and how he was part of Danzo's foundation. And then Kakashi and Yamato build a little friendship while on this mission. I don't know where we're leading to in this episode, but I'm really excited. Let's go in. However, if you're new to my channel, then do subscribe and drop some likes and comments on this video. Let's hop in. Alrighty, back to Danzo's den. The Sharingan is a disposable power. Even among the Uchiha clan who possess the Sharingan, the more they use that power, the greater the loss of their eyesight. Until Are we going to see something about Itachi today? Mind. Procure oh. a replacement for this right eye of mine. There is he one with the Sharingan man. who is not an Uchiha, who has neither parents nor teachers, and has killed his own comrade. Kakashi! Kakashi. Oh, oh is that Yamato? End. Oh, okay. All right. So, um, Danzo always had a Sharingan eye wrapped under those bandages. So even this is before the Uchiha massacre, right? So, okay. So he always probably had some of the Uchiha's been kidnapped and he has somehow killed them and grabbed their, um, you know, Sharingan eyes. And that is why he always had those bandages. Because in one of the episodes, I remember, like in the beginning, I was like, why does he have those bandages on now? Because the Uchiha massacre didn't happen until then. So yeah, it makes sense because he always was um, in possession of a Sharingan eye. And now this Sharingan eye, he has already overused it. And that's why... It's losing its uh, vision and he needs a replacement. He doesn't want an Uchiha to be kidnapped or killed right now. And that's why he wants Kakashi to be killed. And also he actually holds a grudge against Kakashi because Kakashi betrayed him and saved Hiruzen. And his whole plan of Krijin didn't work. Uh, that makes sense that I understand Danzo's perspective. But I'm thinking about Yamato. If this guy was Yamato, because the way he said Kakashi and it felt like it is Yamato. However, I'm not pretty sure. But however, if he's uh, Yamato, I literally thought that in their last mission when they were trying to capture Orochimaru, they developed a sense of friendship among them because Kakashi in the end says, oh, I don't, I won't say that I met a foundation uh, Anbu and I uh, didn't get to see Orochimaru or any other, you know, uh, clan, uh, weird clan. So I felt like they have this uh, trust among themselves, like between Kakashi and Yamato, and ya and they have a kind of uh, sense of friendship. So I wonder if Yamato really wants to kill Kakashi and do this mission. Like this gonna be really, um, I don't know. It will be weird for me to see Yamato killing Kakashi, or at least trying to kill Kakashi. Oh, that's, um, that's Rin's grave, Kakashi's at. Whose grave is that? It belongs to the friend he killed. But why? Why did he kill Rin? We never found that out. Lord Hokage has sent for you. All right. Do I know this woman? Then stop calling me sir. I Besides, think I know this woman. Model. I've seen her. You should find someone more suitable. Is she the woman from the Chunin exam? You remember that Proctor, um, his girlfriend, or so? Oh, so he literally you are went aware to that grave. Orochimaru has secret research facilities scattered throughout the country, aren't you? Yes. A small battalion on a mission stumbled upon such a facility by accident. It appears to be a research facility that was abandoned by Orochimaru. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'd prefer that the people of our village not learn about all his repulsive research projects. Orochimaru left the village three years ago, but he still oh, remains so a thorn been in three our years. side. I hate to ask, but please. So we fast take care forwarded three years in yes, future. Sir. That makes sense. If that guy is Yamato, he looks a little grown up too. So yeah, that makes sense. That uh, you know, foundation of that we can't go up this stuff earlier. These two people. So I think that guy is Yamato. I understand Orochimaru's hideout was found. I've dispatched someone to knocking. investigate it. 
I see. He wants to know more There's information. Troubling you, Donzo. Are you certain that it's safe to investigate it right now? I sent a skilled Anbu agent. Well, I hope that nothing goes amiss. I I just it just feels so weird that Danzo comes inquiring about Orishimaru's hideout and and he's like literally showing that he's really worried about uh you know some kind of a uh you know booby trap or whatever so uh I feel like you know inside Danzo all he cares right now is probably uh, Hiruzen not finding any connection between Danzo and Orishimaru or secondly if there is some information left by Orishimaru in one of his uh, research lab he wants to have his uh you know uh, he wants his people to have that information before Hiruzen can land his hand on those uh, information. So that is that is why he, that is all he cares about. He doesn't care um, if uh, if there is a booby trap or some of the Anbu op will die. I don't think he it matters to him at all. Oh, Kakashi is already here, and he didn't uh, actually realize that some people are following him. Oh, yeah. I guess there is some kind of a booby trap or some kind of a, you know, seal or juice or whatever on this door. Oh. I thought it's gonna blast. Oh, no! It is... See? I literally said that... <laughs> that, that I feel like it's gonna blast. Kakashi! Is you, Kinoe? Kakashi. It is Yamato, right? I'm on a mission. Why does As Yamato have such long hair? Did Lord Donzo dispatch a Foundation Shinobi because he's also interested in this research facility? Uh, not quite. He wants to kill you. Foundation I guess Yamato... Shinobi never discussed their mission, is that it? Also, he has that no first mark. Thanks for right? helping he cannot, He cannot well, actually can't have tell you, to you a crisp, his Kakashi. mission. Okay, so so that was like kind of a sarcastic statement. Of course, they, they can't allow him to burn because they need his eyes. So, yeah. Could we investigate what's inside together? We may work in different divisions, but we're both Leaf Shinobi, so let's team up. Kakashi is so naive and pure. Okay, let's go together. He's right. still really young as compared to Kakashi, right? And this other guy is still like it's hiding outside. Seems like the company. only trap was the one at the entrance. Still, we have to be careful. He has a kunai eye out. Kakashi, yeah. aren't you like a teeny bitty bit suspicious about it? There's nothing in here. What was Orochimaru working on here anyway? Experimenting on humans. Oh yeah. On humans. Yamato is one of those experiment. This one is no good. This human experiment is a failure. I thought that an adolescent would adjust far better in propagating Hashirama cells, but it's just the opposite. A child lacks the strength and stamina for it. It is still alive. Is there? How do they actually breathe inside Wait, that liquid or water? There are many more methods for cell implantation. But what about Yamato? Hey, Kinoe. Let's go. He was deprived of a childhood. This one's locked tight. Leave it to me. Oh. Cool, it's he made open. a key. How did you learn it? Well, he was experimented upon all it's his childhood. The Ninetales uh, Jinchuriki belongs know. to the leaf. Wood style is one of the powers that can control the nine tails. I guess I know Kakashi that the is trying to. Gun is the other power. Ah, he's Your giving wood the rebuttal. Jutsu isn't but... just for the foundation. It's a power meant to serve all of the hidden leaf. Yeah. Damage. I think you're more suited to working directly under the Hokage. He's trying to uh, induct Wouldn't him like into the main the of uh, organization. The sunlight. Yeah, bring him out of the uh, Anbu Foundation. I guess because he will be reminded of the time they spent while on the last mission, I guess no. he won't kill Kakashi. Don't leave. Oh god. Oh, his boot style activated because he was trying to survive the way he said like when you're two people, you all you can think of survival. How is he breathing inside that water? There's a survivor? Oh, Danzo found him. Okay, so Orochimaru wanted to shut everything down, but Danzo found him because he survived. Uh, because of the wood style, I guess. 
Oh, there are more uh, containers, similar kind. There's something inside. Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my god. Oh, cool. Finally, Kakashi escaped it, but yeah, it was a narrow escape. However, he's still he's trying to kill him. I thought he's not gonna do it. It's only in the filler episode and the Oshi that I see Kakashi fighting with the sword. He's seriously attacking him. He seriously wanted to kill him. Oh, he avoided the Sharingan. This was his intent from the very beginning. Yeah. Then I'm not going to hold back. You shouldn't. It'll be a death match, friend against friend. Oh, he's still calling him a friend. I guess he's trying to remind him of uh, the friendship they shared earlier. Ah, oh, well, that's not gonna be Kakashi. Yeah, yeah, I knew this. I knew it. It's gonna be a clone. Why do you want to kill me? What kind of mission sends a friend after a friend? You're one to talk. <laughs> oh. I mean, you're the one who killed a friend, aren't you? Which the way he killed Red. You've gotten better since the last time. So don't hold back, Kakashi. I won't kill a friend. Abandon this mission. No. Ishinobi's because mission his... is absolute. Ever anyway, since Obito, he doesn't give up on a friend. A mission is not absolute. Yeah. If your orders See? are to kill a friend. Then those orders are wrong. Yeah, he's trying to remind him. He's trying to do. You wrong? He's trying to bring him back to the, you know, the way. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? I know you don't seem to. I literally thought it's a girl. Okay, no, it's Yamato. Talk as well. He can very well pass for no, a cute I... little girl. Come with me. If you had stayed with Orochimaru, you would have ended up just another test subject. I I kind of agree with Danzo. Thank goodness Orochimaru didn't bother to come back for him, and he has wood style, so obviously Orochimaru wanted My to keep him. My organization takes in shinobi who don't have any place else to go. Foundation. We are the unyielding organization that supports the great tree known as but, the Hidden Leaf oh. Village. But Without there wasn't like any orphanage in the village. Foundation, a tree there was grow. one. He grabbed There's Kabuto from the there. From this point on, you'll be called Kinoe. You were just one out of sixty. Okay, huh? finally he had a haircut. In the quest to produce another wood-style user, a total of fifty-nine other children have been lost. So you're the Kinoe, special one. You must cherish the life that you've been given. He's just happy to be belonging to some place and some people. Foundation is no place for kids. It just destroys what the childhood. Child. Seems the time has come. I shall train you myself. Lord Danzo is personal. Oh, Danzo personally trained him because he's a special kid. He has good style, obviously, and we know what he's One capable of. One time years ago, I witnessed the first Hokage in battle. Deep forest emergence, deep forest bloom. Such That's what Madra is doing right ninjutsu. now. Infuse earth style and water style change in chakra nature together. <clears throat> Here's the wood style ninjutsu scroll that was left by the first Hokage. Hmm. I have high hopes for your wood style jutsu, Kinoe. Oh no, so he this whole episode kind of reminded him of his loyalty to Danzo. And Danzo had high hopes in him. To hell with your mission. Oh no, one of those containers. Oh my god, something's Killing gonna happen in the container. Even I wanna know what happened. Like, why did you kill why Ren you Kakashi? Kill I know he's calling out again and again on Ren, but I really wanna know why. There must be a good reason, I'm sure. But what is it? I've had to deal with rogue ninja and traitors to the Hidden Leaf. I can't help it if I'm called friend killer Kakashi. Oh, so Ren was a traitor? Ren was. Don't you. Friend killer Kakashi. I didn't want to kill her. I couldn't protect my friend. That's why ah. Ren died. Because of this Chidori. Oh, he's thinking of how he couldn't protect the other kids in those containers and especially this person i feel like this is this was the real tenzo or was this another girl i don't know who this person was but he was he wasn't able to protect this other kid and that as i guess is gonna bring him back to be friends her. with kakashi do whatever you please 
Oh, that's the snake. That's the Uruchimaru snake. Is Uruchimaru here? Oh my god, that creepy snake is here. But you know, the way this whole battle and everything is happening with the flashback and stuff, I, I know I feel like I understand what Yamato is going through. He's been torn apart between what Danso taught him while he was growing up and how uh, on a mission with Kakashi, what kind of a different um, perspective he found. So I guess now when he met Kakashi years later and when he's again in a conversation with him and he see that Kakashi is still not trying to kill him, he's trying to remind him of his values and the uh, camaraderie they shared in the last mission. So it's the mission that has he has been provided is not right if you plan if you're been asked to kill a comrade and also goes back to the time when uh the foundation was trying to kill uh the hokage so it's all interconnected and you have to draw a line between right and wrong you cannot just blindly follow orders or commands from your master you need to question the integrity of it uh, as well so i hope in the next episode we'll know further um what happened but the snake Oh my god, the snake, this... I hope it's not Orochimaru out here. I hear Foundation agents are trained to discard all their emotions. Is that true of you too? Not just our emotions. Shinobi of the Foundation have no names, past or future either. I was saying in the last episode, something about these containers was like fishies. And that snake thing that we saw, the flash of that Orochimaru snake. Don't move from that spot. I guess Orochimaru is here. What? Yeah, I'm gonna saw that snake. No, they're the little ones. A bunch of little ones. Snakes. But behind you, oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm sure Kishimoto loves the snake, like this snake with the weird hairstyle. What's that? This was like la a final form of Orochimaru. Not snakes, there. Orochimaru's experiments. <laughs> and. It's kind of, you know, throwing all those little snakes on them. Oh man, all those snakes are biting them. Oh! away! snake is so... Kino away! He ate Yamato! No, what happened to Yamato? Oh, so finally... Chidori. Hmm. So hopefully Yamato is okay. Flashback! <laughs> Everyone's dead. Oh. Poor kid. You alive? Oh, I say You alright, Kinoe? Kakashi as a savior. <laughs> that snake but is literally why? sliced into two. Why did you save me? I couldn't just let you die. Then be grateful that you're still alive. Yeah, I guess now he will be a changed person. He will probably understand the camaraderie which is missing in the Anbu. Like, I guess Danzo would never uh, try and save... Uh, yeah, but... Oh! Don't inhale it! It's poisonous! Run! <laughs> Kakashi! I really want to point out one thing. Like, it's kind of frustrating. Kakashi is one man who always wears this mask, right? We've never seen his entire face. It's always masked. But uh, when those, um, what's, what's the clan? Uh, you know, the mist clan, the one who were, turn, who were turning into smoke. That guy just turned into smoke and he, it just went into his nostrils. And again, now when it's all poisonous gas and stuff, again, he was impacted so badly. Like he was the first one to be impacted among Yamato and him. So... What is the mask good for? Like, he needs an, you know, N95 mask or something underneath. Well, this mask is good for nothing. Oh, so he sealed it. That was smart of him. Yes, he's making sure that Kakashi is alive. So he, his intention of killing him is gone. I didn't find Orochimaru. It's not Nor gonna follow through his mission. Clan. So this is what I was talking about earlier, that this feeling of, you know, friendships, this camaraderie, this belongingness is missing in Foundation Anbu Ops. And they don't have any emotions, so all they uh, have is their mission. So this is what Yamato really missed now is live by the while rules. working in the Foundation. Okay. And Kakashi because kind of reminded him of that. that. I'm capable of protecting someone. Procure a replacement for this right eye of mine. So, so what... 
Kakashi made him realize that his, uh, as a shinobi, you're trying to protect your village and your comrades, whereas what Danzo was trying to do was a selfish act of procuring uh, a replacement for his own purposes and killing a comrade from the village. So I guess now, after all this conversation with Kakashi and Ka- Kakashi's selfless act of saving saving Yamato, even after all the even after all odds, so. Uh, so I guess now uh, Yamato understands the difference between foundation and the other Anbu ops and being loyal towards the village rather than just loyal towards Danzo. It's again his character development. Did you do it? Yes. I was wondering where is he? <gasps> he has an eye. So you didn't need me. But I don't think he did Where's it. His body? I don't think he killed Kakashi. I made Kakashi. it appear like he was killed by one of Orochimaru's traps. He doesn't want his uh, the subordinate to go inside and kill Kakashi, so he's just making it up. This is all a lie. But when he'll go back to Danzo, they will know it's a fake eye. To Kakashi, I've become confused about this mission, where I'm supposed to kill a friend, and I'll report to Lord Danzo that I failed. Please. Well, Danzo will kill you. Well, he won't kill him because he needs him as he's a he's the only wood style user. But however, there will be repercussion. I'm sure he will be like prisoned or whatever. <laughs> oh, he went straight to Hokage. That made sense. The wood style user just targeted me. Likely on Lord Danzo's orders. Danzo's order. He completely let out he the truth over Danzo here. Danzo and abandoned his mission midway through. Even going so far as to save my life. Who knows what's happened to him by now. Exactly. This is what I was saying. He knows that there is repercussion. He knows Danzo's not going to spare uh, Yamato once he finds out about the fake eye. What's the meaning of this? Kinoe? I beg your pardon. I failed my mission. But what is much harder to forgive is you abandoning your mission. And making a poor attempt at faking his death. The other guy is really upset now because he believed in his lie, right? Tell me why you've done this. Please, sir, go to Lord Danzo and save Kinoe. Yeah, Hokage, you need to act right now. Danzo will... I don't know what he will do. Lord Third. What? He's going back to his work? Whoa! Come on, man. It was agreed upon that I would not interfere with the Foundation. Go and take this missive to Foundation Headquarters. It summons Danzo here to speak with me immediately. Right. Hmm. And will Danzo follow that the way he's sending? Why Why doesn't he go himself? Like, why is he sending a message? Huh? Whoa, Kakashi! So, he ain't listening to Hokage, right? Coming too. He, he knows what at stake. He knows... Danzo will definitely do something like, probably, I don't know, he won't kill him, but he would take some strong measures Kashi against the Yamato. Of the hidden leaf. He's a comrade from the village. Isn't it wrong He's to trying to justify his actions. To frank, Danzo doesn't care. consider those in the foundation to be your true friends. Well, you have no emotions, so how come they will be making friends there? The Foundation's a unique organization that supports the Tree of Belief from deep underground. I'm the leader of the Foundation. The missions I give you are absolute. Who was this person who was who died in that container? No, don't call me that. My name is not Kinoe. What? He disobeyed what do you him. Mean? You oh, are man. Kinoe of the Foundation. I am a shinobi of the leaf. A shinobi. Not just of the foundation, but the whole leaf and its branches. What has made you turn on us like this? Oh God! No, he used genjutsu on him. Bind him with a curse mark. Yes, sir. Lord Donzo isn't here. Liars! We will let him know just as soon as he returns. We aren't privy to the details of Lord Donzo's schedule. Even their voices like no emotions. Go back and report this to Lord Third. Oh no! You I need to like sir. barge in. They're doing something to Yamato. They're putting him under some curse mark. They will brainwash him again. Kakashi knows. It's, this is foundation jurisdiction. It's critical. It's time sensitive. Okay, so they are done. Where is Kinoe? He hates it that his plan is failing. He wants uh, Yamato under his thumb. Oh, he found K- Kakashi found Yamato. Kakashi? What style? 
it's it's like an escape from the you know it's like a prison break over there oh style vacuum how do you works. run away from this place like oh vacuum bullet we saw a little bit of that in that all kage summit how good of you to come over from your side to see us here kakashi he ha holds a grudge against him he wants to take one of our own he wants to bench of kakashi don't think you'll get off so easily just jump down like i don't know if you guys can escape any other more tonzo kakashi just shut up you won't be getting away with this either neither shall you hmm ah What? Who is that? Is that Hokage? Yeah. Oh my god. Hiruzen. I am well aware that you harbor a grudge against He's Kakashi. He's so short-hearted. But still, that does not give you the justification to target one of the Leaf's finest shinobi. What do you mean by finest? Any shinobi he should not target. But he chose to trespass into Foundation territory. And that is Val, quite serious. Well, you were curse marking. He chose. Yeah, but In actuality, I dispatched him here with a summons from me. It seems there was a miscommunication. This is the first I've heard of that. It has to do with another exceptional shinobi of this village. I understand there is now such a wood-style user, so why keep him hidden in the foundation? I just didn't feel there was any need to report it to you. Hear me, Danzo. Audacity of this man. The child has now entered his fourth year. Because of that, I ask you to entrust this wood-style user to me, to the Anbu under my direct control. But for the sake of the hidden leaf, sake of the hidden leaf. So, so you know uh, how everyone is listening into this conversation. What I feel is, uh, so I feel like um, Hiruzen played his cards really well at this time. He was always aware about the fact that uh, Foundation is harboring a shinobi who knows what style, but he wanted an opportunity. He wanted an opening to go inside Foundation and have a claim over Yamato. So he he was looking for this. Uh, in this kind of an opportunity and even when you know now right now what he's playing at is that at uh, at a time of time at a point of time uh he used uh, uh Kakashi to assassinate uh Hiruzen however Kakashi betrayed Danzo and uh Hiruzen spared Danzo in the whole uh thing he did not uh, take, take any actions against him and now he's saying for the sake of leaf village like he's literally using those words because danzo used the, those words simply to manipulate all his foundation shinobis and every other act that he has done he's always claimed it is for the uh, for the protection or for the leaf village and now right now he is in his playing the same words back at him in front of his whole foundation and other anbu up so right now he's like ball is in your court i am telling you i'm exactly telling you what you tell your own shinobi that for the betterment of the leaf village i need this kid i need the shinobi because we have this jinchuriki kid who is uh, this this old and now every other uh, year he is going to grow more powerful and nine tails can emerge out of him any time and we need someone who is who is a good style user so he is now having a claim on yamato which he wanted from a really long time but he wasn't getting the perfect opportunity and this is Say, this is how he's going to get the claim see everyone's listening into this conversation should you choose to do so everything will be settled amicably yeah otherwise i will bring out the treason act that you did against me members of the foundation bear a curse mark so they don't reveal secret intel i will not remove it from him so henceforth you will be an anbu under my direct orders Uh, that is how he came about being an anbu now thank you for everything even then he is so grateful to danzo because danzo actually raised him right so he saved him and raised him my name's kinoe i just transferred here from the foundation oh the locker room oh hey there tenzo <laughs> tenzo tenzo in the anbu you should go by tenzo but that huh. name is kind of all right everyone This is Tenzo. He's the new guy. So Kakashi kind of named him Tenzo I again. Thank you much for his skill. So I'm Tenzo now, huh? <laughs> Tenzo, you'll be on my team, Team Ro. Team Ro. I'm Ro. counting on you. Yes, sir. That's 
That's so sweet. I think finally Yamato found a family and a group of friends and some place that he belongs to and this is something was missing in his life. Uh, even when he survived Orochimaru's experiment and when Danzo took him under his wing, he literally had set up some expectations from him because he was the only good style user and he trained him and he actually gave him all that attention because he needed something in return and no one ever... Um, had built a relationship with him uh, with no self interest right uh, unless he met kakashi and kakashi showed him what a friendship is all about and what a camaraderie is all about what it is to be loyal to your own village and your own people what it means and that emotions and everything so even with that girl who kept calling uh, him Kenzo so he learned all that emotions that you know that love and care and belongingness so i feel now finally he's home exactly with that locker room and all those people around him and kakashi said oh you're in my team team ro so i feel like i'm i'm happy to see that finally yamato has some place to go to and call his own and it makes sense now uh, when kakashi met yamato years later his his new uh, i guess mission name was that he was given yamato but kakashi kept calling him tenzo because the, uh, kakashi named him tenzo after uh, that kid so uh, he kept calling him tenzo and yamato was getting irritated no don't call me tenzo and i'm yamato now it all makes sense so it all circle back to that point it's beautiful the way it was all connected he also shows the character development of yamato from that kid who was abandoned and then saved and then had set up to an expectation and then uh being you know uh, inducted into the anbu club and developing those friendship and have that sense of belongingness and then he has this mission and where he thinks that now he can protect people and then finally he meets naruto sai sakura and when he has that connection with naruto he acts as this fatherly figure in his life so it all makes sense uh, this whole uh, point came to a circle Now uh, one thing I I still feel like we saw so much of Yamato in the filler episode but I really don't know what's happening with Yamato in real life in the real time I hope when we go back to those war episodes we finally get to see what happened to Yamato but regarding Kakashi's character development so far we know uh, Kakashi um uh, was this um, boy at a very young age because his dad committed suicide he wanted to follow rules and then he met Obito Obito kind of changed him and he started uh, caring about people around him however he lost friend and Obito both in his life and then he became uh, this cold blooded kakashi then he became kakashi of the sharingan and i hope now we will know how he became the kakashi the copy uh, ninja or you know all different names that we have uh, heard about kakashi and how infamous he has been among all other shinobis from different land but it be all the kakashi's journey has been so much uh, so amazing it has connecting dots about all these stories as well as kakashi being the one of the best character in naruto shippuden and i love kakashi since the beginning i uh, I was a fan of Kakashi from OG. I was in madly in love with Kakashi <laughs> and ever since now even now when I found out so much more about Kakashi it just makes me more connect to him as a, on a human level. Well that's all about it. Hopefully next two episodes will bring out more information and have more connecting dots. Well I'll wrap it out here. Drop some likes and comments on this video and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and all my reaction videos available on Patreon unedited uncensored and you can also send me a high five on Instagram and Facebook. I'll see you in the next video. Until then. Bye.